breaking crypto news. Let's start with Chainlink. This one network has enabled $6.4 trillion worth of transactions and growing. That is a lot of value being moved thanks to Chainlink infrastructure. Let's look at the Ethereum ecosystem. As of right now, there is $4 billion worth of total value locked in Ethereum Layer 2 solutions. Just look at that uptrend. Look at the uptrend in total stable coin supply and value. There's 100 35 billion dollars worth and yes it is estimated that over the next few years this amount of value worldwide is going to be disrupted it's a huge number 827 trillion dollars worth of estimated value will be disrupted by web3 technology it'll all run on the blockchain via tokenization it doesn't get much bigger than this we're still in the very early stages and it is incredibly exciting so let's look at the news of some of these assets that are disrupted and changing everything. First up, the Arweave ecosystem. This is decentralized storage, which stores data in a decentralized way, trying to compete with the big data warehouses. Well, we just had two terabytes of data uploaded to the Arweave network, just a massive historic spike. Just look at its history, going all the way back to early 2021. We've never seen that much data uploaded to Arweave, so just keeping you posted on some of the crucial data regarding some of these ecosystems. Let's look at another thriving ecosystem, the Ethereum name service. How is it doing? Did it grow in Q3? It literally grew by 71% to 1.1 million ENS registrations in Q3, just growing like wildfire. The ENS governs the .eth domain names, right? So we have .com domain names on Web2, on Web3 via the blockchain world. Dot .eth domain names are incredibly valuable and incredibly desirable. Now, we do have a massive competitor to Ethereum, the BNB token which just surpassed ethereum in total unique addresses 209.86 million bnb addresses compared to 209.56 million ethereum addresses so just a total sleeper asset that is truly revolutionary the binance token bnb it's a deflationary asset